Okay, so the line of regression um, is a basic uh, equation, uh, is a basic line, uh, equation of a line. Okay, so when we come back to an equation of a line, we got y equals mx plus b. Whereas m, so, whereas m it, it equals the slope, or implies slope, and B implies the y-intercept. Okay? So, um, it's really important uh, uh, to remember your slope-intercept um, properties and what, how, to, how to figure it all out. Um, one thing is, if we have a bunch of points, and that's what these red ones are, they're just points in, on, in, that we've graphed, right? And then we're like, okay, we want to find a linear uh, regression line, or we want to see what line best fits the graph, best fits the data. So we draw a line. We just draw one, okay? And we find two points that that line goes through, because that's the easiest way to find the, 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 line, the equation of a line, is to have two points on the line. So we found these two special points, right? And these two special points was five and 11, that's the coordinate for it, and 3 and 7, that was the other coordinate for it. And when we go back in our brain and remember how to find the slope of a line, we remember that the uh, equation for the slope is m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay, that's the equation. Now, okay, a lot of us don't remember that. <laughs> because, because, you know, if you're not uh, eating math for breakfast like me, you're not going to really retain all that garbage. But what you can retain is, uh, you might remember, like, the face. When I, when I gave the face, I always gave the face as, like, negative slope, positive slope, no slope zero slope, so it's negative, it's positive, it's no solution, and it's zero, whereas x is equal to a number, it's a line like this, if y is equal to a number, it's a line like this, and that's my face. So I created this thing to remember, since I, uh, what I also created was a way to remember slope. Slope can be remembered as flip it and smack it. So. And a lot of people are like, oh yeah, flip it and smack it, okay, because they've had me. So they're like, what do you mean by flip it and smack it? Well, the thing is, I flip and smack the coordinates. So I have two coordinates here. I have 5 and 11, and I have 3 and 7, okay? And it doesn't matter which way you put them, right? Um, what matters is which way you flip them. And you have to remember... Y is on top. When we talk about a coordinate system, you have X and you have Y. Y is on top. And so when I flip these coordinates, I flip it so that the Y is on top. Because technically, this is X sub 1, Y sub 1. Uh, X sub 2 and Y sub 2, because they're the second coordinate and the first coordinate. But And I could just plug them into this equation. or I could just remember flip it and smack it, y is on top, so it's 11 over 5, 7 over 3. Okay, so I flipped them, and now I smack them. Like I tell my daughter, if somebody grabs you, you smack them in the face, you smack them in the groin, and you run. So you smack them up top, you smack them down below, and you run. Okay, and it's really simple. So you flip it, and you smack it, and you run with it, okay? And that's M. That's your slope. So when we do that, then I have 11 minus 7, which is 4, and 5 minus 3, which is 2. So M is equal to 4 over 2, which equals 2. So M... is equal to 2. So I know my m. 
Okay? And I know the equation of a line is equal to y equals mx plus b. So, I take that equation, y equals mx plus b, and I grab two things. I grab the slope, and I grab a coordinate. The reason I grab a coordinate is it's x and y, and it doesn't matter which one. I like this one because it's lower numbers. That's it. That's the only reason. I like the lower numbers. So, fine. I've got 7 for y, and I've got x is going to be 3. Okay? And then, what do I have for m? My m is 2. So what's b? It's still b. Okay? So now I, I have basically 7 equals 6 plus b. Okay? So what I do is I subtract 6, subtract 6, and I got 1 equals b. So I have b and I have m. And again, I know that my line is y equals mx plus b. So I plug them in. y equals mx plus b. And that's my equation of the line, which in turn is the best fit line that I, that I could see. Now this is a rough line of regression. It's not an exact line of regression. It's what we call an estimate. Okay. Next, we're going to talk about how to get the actual line of regression. Okay. But that's a good start.